Hello Elvis fans, welcome back to part 7 of the video series about Priscilla Presley and her relationships before Elvis uh, and possibly during Elvis. Um, so you've heard parts 1 through 6 where we talked about um, Elvis Presley's friend, Curry Grant, C-U-R-R-I-E Grant, not to be confused with uh, Curry Grant, the actor, um, claims that he and Priscilla were intimate before Elvis Presley and her. And as a means to meet Elvis Presley, that was the agreement that they made. Uh, although it, from the, when you read the book, uh, it didn't happen on the first date or the second date. Uh, it was on the third date or the fourth date, uh, and possibly for both of those. And then uh, Curry did take Priscilla to meet Elvis Presley, and the rest is kind of history. Now, 1996, Suzanne Finstead wrote a book, um, and Curry was a main feature of this book. Uh, Priscilla Presley went and sat down with Suzanne and Curry Grant. And if you look at uh, parts one through five, you'll see the interviews, um, the questions that were asked, the responses from Priscilla and Curry. Uh, and you'll see that the results of the voice analyzer stress test, which is used by 900 police departments, uh, showed that Curry Grant was a was honest and truthful 100% of the time, and Priscilla Presley was de was deceptive um, in every statement except how she remembered Elvis. And, uh, sorry, remembered Curry introducing himself. So, when you read further in the book and you read some of the other accusations in there, uh, not only that Curry was uh, intimate with uh, Priscilla before, but also Priscilla was intimate with Elvis before um, he left Germany. Um, now, I don't know. That they could, it could have just been what Priscilla told Curry, but never happened. Because um, maybe she was uh, ashamed or um, insecure that Elvis didn't want her, so she was going to tell Curry that it happened. That's what I kind of believe happened, or, or the definition of what intimate is, um, you know, changed. Anyhow, um, and of, of course, these upcoming uh, video part series are going to focus on others that Priscilla was intimate with. Uh, including the son of a baron uh, over there, very rich person. Um, a couple of her high school boyfriends, uh, Tommy Stewart, which we did talk about that yesterday, uh, Ron Tapp, and potentially others. That being said, once again, you know, it doesn't make somebody a bad person if they're intimate with somebody, uh, it, but it does the whole story of Priscilla Presley and what she carefully cultivated um, you know, is certainly not one that jibes with this book, Child Bride. Um, and, of course, the person that did the, the, the stress analyzer test, um, Gunther, said he would go on record and go to court uh, for his results. He said there was no doubt in his mind that Curry Grant and Priscilla were intimate. Um, so that just changes everything for Priscilla Presley's story. And, of course, her movie that's out that's bashing Elvis uh, and... So bad, which I haven't seen it yet, but so bad apparently that her son uh, wrapped himself up in a fetal position and wanted to vomit. Hmm. Well, now we know that but Priscilla Presley's son doesn't like Elvis in the first place. Um, didn't like Lisa, yet he gets an eighth of the fortune, I think it was, which is sickening. Sickening, sickening, sickening. Um, and, and I know how Elvis fans feel about that because... You're very, very verbal about that. Uh, for the Presley, Priscilla Presley defenders, um, you know, I say that if Priscilla would have been honest about her intimacy with Curry, uh, honest while she was in high school and Elvis was in the States, they never would have gotten married. Uh, Priscilla would have never been brought over to Graceland. Not at all. Because it wasn't what Elvis was looking for. And, but she perpetrated a story and stuck to it, and, you know, in 1996, boy, she, uh, she sued Curry for defamation, uh, and Curry countersued, um, she won the court case because she's got a lot of money, but she never made Curry Grant pay anything, and in fact, she paid him money for the quote-unquote pictures he took, so just, we just read the, read the, uh, or listen, listen to the series parts one through six, you'll, you'll get what I'm talking about, I used excerpts from the books as well, so you can read along, uh, at certain times. Um, but yesterday, you know, we focused in part six on Tommy Stewart and Priscilla Presley. Um, and there's going to be more on that, but 
they were pretty hot and heavy uh, throughout high school, according to everybody that knew Priscilla and knew him. Um, and he's not around. Past he wasn't around he in was the 90s. How he felt to, that he failed because he as a husband supposedly and a passed away um, the year but, after you know, he left You can't Germany be in a real in relationship a, uh, with a person that is in a F-E fight. And on the that beach. is, yeah, I, I think, what I'm Jersey. trying to get at here in um, seven. Is so, that, you know, that's it one wasn't of the a real relationship. That it wasn't a real can't person. Can't go on the record. Persona. But all uh, of his uh, friends and all the people talk about how she exchanged um, uh, attested to um, it information um, from Curry on and what Priscilla, Priscilla, Priscilla that uh, could Priscilla do to fight it back like then. Now, not be turned off. Did she know really for a fact that Elvis was going to bring her over? That happened. No, not in the least. And of course, you know, parts one through six, we, you know, she talks about how. She never um, saw Curry you know, after no she be waiting she for told Elvis uh, that somebody, even as Curry did Elvis something press bad to her. But um, that's not true either because Curry she, she was, pretended that she did. was there the day Elvis left. You know, and requested and I made to a, pick up or so. It made a voiceover and it was, it was that Curry and his wife times, Carol. Just, just, and then not on, to, on like top it. of that, um, that was, say, 1960 you know, <laughs> when Elvis and like it. left Germany. That she, top in 1961, if she had not told the story, Curry went back to Germany to visit. I believe Elvis was in California. And Elvis begged him to go over and take pictures. Part of the responsibility. And that's the pictures you're looking at. So... Like I said, please do yourself a favor. Watch parts one through six. Uh, you know, give this uh, give this honesty a chance. I know if you're a Priscilla uh, fan watching this for the first time, you probably don't want to go watch something that's going to destroy your idea of who she was and the image that she so carefully created. But the truth is the truth, you know. And this was carefully researched, and these people put this book out, and they were never sued. It was only Curry Grant that was sued. Um, and once again, she didn't make him pay anything, and in fact, she paid him. So that sounds like silence to me. Pay, pay for silence. Uh, st- stay tuned uh, for part eight tomorrow. We're going to delve into the the son of the Baron that was intimate with Priscilla Presley, uh, according to this book, and also uh, Ron Tap, T A P P, which was her high school boyfriend as well. That was that she was intimate with, according to this book. And we're going to continue talking about. Um, about this series, uh, you know, and about Child Bride, and about what Priscilla has been perpetrating on the Elvis fans and on Elvis's image with disasters like Agent Elvis, where he's just vulgar and, you know, made a joke out of his desire to help the United States and to help the youth of America. Um, and then, of course, her movie, Priscilla, which I hope fails miserably, um, but it's going to be seen by some, and it's it's a a farce as far as I'm concerned. Um, anyhow, y'all have a wonderful blessed day and please share this video. Please like this video. Uh, and, um, until next time, TCB TLC, much love to all of you and including you Priscilla fans, uh, as long as you love Elvis.